Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another video. I'm going to be doing something a little different today. We're going to be doing more of an instant match reaction kind of thing. Uh, I'm going to be starting to do this across weekends gone by, in which I just briefly talk about, review, sum up some of the games that have took place, some of the biggest games across a uh, weekend's fixtures and we're kicking off this weekend we're starting with a game that literally just finished Liverpool versus Watford uh, it was a game in which the Reds ran away as 5-0 winners it was a perfect performance from Jurgen Klopp's side Bobby Firmino got a hat-trick Sadio Mane got the ball rolling initially he scored the opening goal of the game and Mohamed Salah scored another absolute world-class goal uh, but before we get into that, talking about it in a bit more detail, would like to remind you to please like the video and also subscribe if you're new, both as always and forever greatly appreciated. But for now, let's get back to talking about Liverpool's perfect performance against Watford. Like I say, from the first whistle to pretty much the last, it was it was near perfection. There was a bit of a 10-15 minute period towards the end of the game, which Liverpool completely took their, well not completely, but took their foot off the pedal a little bit. Uh, and Watford sort of just threw caution to the wind a little bit, hoping to get something out of the game, a late consolation or anything. But Liverpool stood strong. Uh, they rested a few of their key players towards the end. Uh, Robertson came off, Trent came off, uh, and uh, Milner came off. I assume they're going to be rested for the game probably midweek. Liverpool have got a big week coming up uh, with Champions League action against Atletico on Tuesday. And then, of course, the massive game next weekend against Manchester United. So, obviously, there's going to be a bit of rotation that are going to be going into particularly the game against Atletico. So, they took the foul off the pedal a little bit. Watford grew into the game. But then Firmino completed his hat-trick. Uh, to properly, properly put the icing on the cake for his performance as well. Um, I think Bobby Firmino was fantastic. I think he he was allowed to play his natural game uh, by Watford. Watford just didn't want to get anywhere near him. Um, his his hat trick was very similar to what Dirk Kautz was against Manchester United many many years ago, uh, in the sense that. They were very, very much, t all three goals were tap-ins, close-range goals. Um, and it, it was just a great performance and it was great to see him back among the goals. There's a debate, obviously, as to who you start, whether it be Diego Jota or Bobby Firmino. And, uh, you know, that debate is still up for grabs. But Bo Firmino didn't do himself any disservice by getting on the score sheet. Not once, not twice, but three times during this game, uh, great performance from him. I thought Mane was great. Uh, a lot has been said about Mane over the past year or so, but that finish was as cool as you like from Mohamed Salah's fantastic pass. And of course, uh, Mohamed Salah. Oh, he is unbelievable, isn't he? Uh, Liverpool give him whatever he wants. If he wants part of the club's stakes, uh, shareholders, whatever it may be, I don't care. Whatever it is, give him what he wants because them kind of players don't come around as often as you'd think. He is incredible. He is phenomenal. And yes, it was against the Watford side that are incredibly poor. One of the favourites to go down under a new manager in Claudio Ranieri. But he was superb. The pass to set up Mane was superb. Pinpoint, exquisite. And the... The run, the skill, the finish for his goal was just perfect. And especially coming straight after the game against Manchester City in which he scored a slightly similar goal in which, of course, uh, he turned inside out three Manchester City defenders. It just goes to show right now that he is the best player in the Premier League today. Best player in the Premier League right now. Best player on the planet right now. No doubt in my mind about that, Mohamed Salah is truly, truly phenomenal. Overall, great performance. I thought Kelleher came in. He didn't really have much to do. He had only, I think, one save to make, and that was pretty much straight at him. It was a pretty, it was a pretty easy day, and if we were going to be missing Allison um, for a game, it was, it was good to be missing this game, in which he had very little to do. Trent was perfect for the game that he played. Obviously, like I say, he came off with 20 minutes to go or so on and so forth, but I thought he was brilliant throughout the entirety of the game his passing was back on point everything about his game was perfect defending was was sound Matip and Van Dijk solid at the back didn't really have any problems 
Robertson, solid as usual. He had no problems either. Defensively, it was sound. Midfield was strong. I thought Milner came in and did a very good job in the absence of Fabinho. Didn't really need a DM in this game. It was just nice and calm and controlled in midfield. Henderson kept things ticking over. Cato, I thought, played uh, pretty well, uh, trying to link up play and move forward here and there. Uh, it's good that he's finally getting a bit of a run of games uh, rather than his injury. And like I say, the front three was just uh, just incredible. Just great to see them back on form, back on song with one another. It was just amazing to see. And to think, I actually had a bit of caution with this game. I it said in my preview that I thought that I was a bit cautious of this game. I thought a 12 30 kickoff is always a bit of a hit and miss kind of uh, fixture to sort of bet on. It's also a fixture in which Watford will come into this with a new manager bounce. Whether that means as much to Watford or not, with them having a new manager seemingly every six weeks, I don't know. But I thought a new manager bounce may be something that Liverpool need to be a bit more cautious to in this fixture. But they proved me incredibly wrong because, it, like I say, it was a near-perfect performance. A hat-trick for Bobby. Goals for all, for all the front three. Mohamed Salah, absolutely phenomenal. Phenom phenomenal goal. He overshadows Firmino a little bit, but Firmino's a kind of unselfish player that he won't mind too much. He gets the match ball, but Salah gets the goal of the game. And I think the man of the match, in my personal opinion, Mane, class goal, worked his socks off throughout the entirety of the game. And they keep a clean sheet to boot, and it sets it up perfectly for a weekend in which Liverpool can now sit back. They can watch the likes of Manchester City, although they are against Burnley, so that's kind of a foregone conclusion even before a ball's kicked. Man United or against Leicester could be a tricky fixture for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's side. And of course, Chelsea against Brentford. We know what Brentford did to Liverpool a few weeks ago. Will they have the same sort of effect on Chelsea or not? Remains to be seen, but Liverpool can put their feet up and rest for the entire weekend. They can look, look ahead to Atletico Madrid midweek and then of course the big game like I mentioned against Manchester United next week. It's, got, it's been the perfect weekend so far for Liverpool and it can only get better for them if other results go in their favour but we are so early on in the season that of course it doesn't matter too much if of course their rivals or seemingly closest rivals obviously pick up points today. Like I say, Liverpool can be very proud and can take away from this perfect performance. Amazing. 5-0 to Liverpool, it finished. Uh, Sadio Mane opened the scoring. Bobby Firmino's hat-trick and another piece of Mohamed Salah brilliance. If there's one thing you can take away from this other than the performance, it is that Mo Salah deserves everything that he wants from this club. Everything. He carried them last year and he's done amazingly and brilliantly well so far this season. He is the best player on the planet but of course these are just the thoughts comments opinions predictions whatever you want to call it of this guy i want to know what you guys think what do you make of liverpool's performance in this game what do you make of the result what do you make of liverpool's aspirations for the rest of the season so on and so forth i want to know your thoughts comments opinions and predictions and whatever else you want to call it down below in the comment section because i'm sure they'll all make the interesting reading otherwise Hit that like button on all right. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you're new and want to see more content like this, both things are always and I'd be greatly appreciated. And as always, thank you all so much for watching and listening. I've been Fletch. This has been a beginning of a new series of match reactions and instant match reactions, whatever you want to call it. And I will see and speak with you all again soon in another video.